Okay, so I'm feeling conflicted because I have been on this journey of self-discovery, self-improvement, and one of the things that I have adopted is trying to save as much mental capacity as I can for difficult decisions throughout the day. I would like I try to narrow down all of my brain activity so that I can allot that kind of brain power to um, creative endeavors and making important decisions. And so over the course of my daily life, my daily routine, I've co- I've come up with systems that um, allow me to do that. Things like I wear, I just have one outfit. So I have multiple um, shirts and pants and uh, of all of the same design. So they're all black Henleys. Um, I have, I just wear uh, black gray jeans and I wear that same outfit every single day. Sometimes I have a hoodie, sometimes I don't have a hoodie. I have short sleeve shirt versions of these Henleys and for me, it just takes out the, I don't know, that mental energy that I need to divert to picking out an outfit every day. Uh, when I used to, when I used to work full time, I used to have that problem, right? Where you go to work every day, you see the same people and you have a series of different outfits and, and, um, dress clothes. And one of the things that I really appreciated in certain jobs that I had was when we had a uniform because we wouldn't have to think about that. We would all look the same. We would all kind of, you know, not have to worry and spend that time hemming and hawing about what we're going to wear or even prepping clothes like ironing. I used to iron shirts and pants all the time. And now it's, it's literally wash and dry. Um, and that's, that goes for other things in my life too. Like I typically eat the same food for my lunch. I, I've, I've been practicing intermittent fasting and so I only eat two meals a day. Um, so my first meal, uh, it's typically an omelet, a spinach omelet with feta and some sardines or some other kind of protein. Um, sometimes cottage cheese, sometimes chicken. But uh, for me, it's 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 allowed me to, uh, I don't know, kind of go on autopilot for certain parts of my day so that I can then divert that mental energy to doing something else. And what's where I'm conflicted is that I have made this commitment in 2024 to try to do something new every day, something that I haven't done before in an effort to just, I don't know, gain more experiences. And and they don't have to be large things. They can be small things. Um, so say, for example, I've never shot a video in this direction. I've never set up my equipment this way. Um, and part of that is these daily videos where I am saying things that I've never said, where I'm creating something that I've never created before, as opposed to these cookie cutter videos that I had been producing in the past. And so, but yeah, there are two conflicting, two conflicting sides of me, right? Where one craves that kind of consistency and continuity um, and the other side of me that really is looking for a more adventurous and um, yeah spontaneous feeling of doing whatever I want whenever I want and not having to to worry about it and and so what's interesting is that uh, I'm hoping to find a much better balance between these two things moving out throughout, throughout the year, because I think that I, I read this book last year that I'm not going to mention because I, after reading the ending, I didn't like the ending of this book, but, um, it was kind of like a self-help book and it, there was like this specific way of reading the book. Uh, daily over the course of a number of weeks and months. And, um, and so I was all for it in the beginning. And then after nine months of participating in this exercise, I, I really disliked the ending. 
regardless, what it did is even though the content of that book may not have resonated with me in the end, it did allow me to build good daily habits, right? They say that if you do something daily for 30 days, it beca- it, you form a habit. And um, one of the things that I've been trying to do is to replace my bad habits with good habits. So whether that be eating or um, how I work or how I create content or any of those things, right? And so doing something every day for 30 days is like the benchmark, the what I'm striving for in order to make that part of just my my daily life. And and these videos are part of that. And for me, I'm excited because I get to just turn on my camera. I get to just talk to you. I get to have a conversation. We can talk about anything we want and there's no script. There's no, um, I'm not reading off a teleprompter or anything like that. Uh, the conversation can just go in any direction I want. And so it's exciting because that's fulfilling that part of me that wants to do something new, something out of the box, something that I don't know if it will ever connect with anyone or what that end result is. But for once in my life, I am not results driven. I am process driven. And so I, for one, enjoy having these conversations with you every day um, about any variety of topics. And But if you see me, um, don't mistake my my consistency for complacency because this year is the year that I am ready to just do something different and not be stuck in that same rut. And so even though I have systems in place where you might think it looks like I'm stuck, like wearing the same outfit in all of these videos on a daily basis, um, you might be, you might be thinking like, yeah, does that guy even have two shirts? And yeah, I have multiple shirts. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I that's what I got going on today, and so I, for one, am super excited to continue this conversation tomorrow, and we'll talk again real soon.